I will never forget the time at your party where we danced the night away or how we would hang out after work for hours. I couldn't have asked for a better best friend and I will forever cherish our bond. I remember Her when- age? I, what, Why does this sound like a eulogy? I just wanted to let you know how much you meant to me. Okay, um, can we pick this up at a different time maybe? I really need you to finish my yeah. house. Yeah, you're yeah. right. I'm sorry. Let me go get the nail polish from okay. upstairs. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, definitely. Hey. Yeah, hey. Um, we need to do something about Paige. <coughs> what happened now? She just eulogized me. <laughs> she say what? She read me my eulogy. <laughs> Why would she do that? Why does she do any of the things that she does? Oh, <laughs> you remember that time where she um she framed that picture to y'all in like this big frame? Please don't remind me. <laughs> but anywho, girl, what you wearing to the Juneteenth party? Um, I guess probably like some jean shorts and uh, just like a Juneteenth shirt. Okay, okay, that's cute. So I'm wearing these short shorts and this fitted shirt because I'm trying to show all of this. All, all of this. <laughs> <laughs> you are a mess. Get off my phone. I uh, found the perfect color. Oh, okay, great. Um, hey, Kara, I'll call you back later. Is that my other bestie, Care Bear? Who is she talking about? Who Who is Care Bear? Aw, Care Bear, your BFF says hi. Mm. She is not my best friend. We are barely, and I mean barely, friends. She says she loves and misses you. Love you too, Care Bear. I'm going to kill you, Tori. Aw, Care Bear, you're so sweet. I know you love me too. And I mean, we just have so much love to share around. I'm going to kill Paige first, and then I'm going to kill you next. Actually, oh my gosh, we should kill Paige. What? Wait, what? What'd she say? Put her on speaker. Oh, no, um. She's uh, planning a surprise and she can't tell you about it. Yeah. I'm serious. You are just so generous. But you don't need to do that. Oh, I have a gift for you. Okay. I don't, I don't know, but no, you're doing a lot. Does, does that make sense to you? This. Hold on. got me weave. Yeah. She got you what? I saw how many times you kept going back to it on Amazon, so I checked the history on your phone just to make sure I got the right one. You legit got me weave. Yeah, it's for the new sewing you wanted. Paige, this is weird. <laughs> Super weird. Creepy. She stalkerish. Girl, this is some of that crazy white girl shit. I mean, this this is a lot, Paige. I mean, I'm sure it costs you a fortune. You can't put a price tag on friendship. Yes, you can, because you know why? It's going to cost you your soul. I mean, this is just... So great, right? I love you, too. Hey, hey, Kara. I'm going to call you back. Mm-hmm. Crazy stuff. You smell so good. What are you wearing? Um, the Rihanna Savage set. It's the back of Riri for me. Paige, you can't give gifts like this. This is too much. So I was thinking, it would be so cute if you, me, and Kara all wore matching outfits to the Juneteenth party. You're going? Yeah, why wouldn't I? 
My two besties are going. Yeah, but Justin's hosting. I think Justin is so cute. When are you gonna ask him out? I'll ask him out when I'm ready. You don't know Justin. It's okay, we're all family here. Pa Paige, as your... I just feel like it's right for me to remind you. You're white. And you're concerned about me being the only white person at the Juneteenth party. It's so sweet of you to be concerned. You know, I just feel more at home around black people than my own family. White people are just so problematic. Be all right. Well, uh, yeah, you'll. Okay. Uh, first things first, though. We need to do something about Paige. Yes, I told you we should kill her. Stop being so dramatic, okay? I'm talking about, you know, bringing her down a peg, giving her a reality uh, check, something. Something like lynch her for the ancestors, you know what I'm saying? Kara? Yes. You know you're my girl. Mm -hmm. And you know I love you. Mm. But I am not down to committing murder with you mm -hmm. and then going to jail. See, first of all, you don't go to jail. You go to prison when you commit murder. Secondly, I've been watching some shows and I know how to make it seem like we didn't do it. Then, my cousin, right, right? We mm -hmm. are not killing Paige. Of course not, because you told the whole neighborhood. Seriously, what mm. are we going to do about her? Honestly, I don't know. But I'm not playing with that single white female. Oh, actually, side note. You know she invited herself to the Juneteenth party? Are you serious? We need to break up with her. Yes, you do. But girl, um, what happened? I thought she did your nails. Oh, she did. Okay. And I popped them off the minute I left her house. See? You should've came to me, girl. I could've got you to get yes, uh, You know what I'm saying? Got you for the low low. Have you seen Justin yet? No, not yet. <laughs> Girl, guess what? There he is. He is so fine. Mm-hmm, girl. Go talk to that man. I will. Mm. No, I will. I will. I will. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. You're right. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna right. go. Is there anything in my teeth? No, you're good. Somebody give me some punch. Oh my gosh, you look so good. Happy Juneteenth, bestie. Paige, we're matching. Why are you matching? Why do you look like the white version of me? That is the best thing a girl could hear. And I got the Riri body spray, so we smell the same too. Aren't we cute? I'm gonna go get some more to drink. BRB. <laughs> You saw that, right? I saw it. And you saw what she was wearing. I seen what she was wearing. And the hair crossed the whole line. And she got my perfume, so we smelled the same. That's creepy. What is she doing here? I don't know. Can white people celebrate Juneteenth anyway? That's beyond the point. Okay. We have to do something about Paige. Yes, we get to kill her. No. So we no. can do No. Kara, we're not killing her. Okay. <sighs> okay, so you know what? Maybe we could just do some public humiliation. I could throw some paint on her or yeah. some blood <gasps> for the ancestors. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That'd be what so happy. the actual hell. Okay, maybe not blood, but what if? Oh, you gone. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, Girl, oh, speed that. Oh, you hear me? Oh, oh. I am so oh. sorry, 
you just and that's my bad. Paige, Lord. we need to talk. Why did you do that? What is going on here? Yeah, no, let's that's let's it. talk. Here, 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 here. This is Thank like, a lot. Thank you. You know, it didn't bother me that you would stay around after work, even though you got off three hours before me. The huge picture of us in your room or the fact that you would have had me come over to do my nails for free, not an issue. Gifting the weave, wearing the same outfit as me, coming to events uninvited. Creepy, weird, but not crossing the line. Flirting with the guy that I've had a crush on for this entire year, that's crossing the line. You're breaking the girl code. You think I'm creepy and weird? Paige, stop flirting with Justin. You know I like him and you're not even supposed to be here right now because- Because what? Because I'm white? I can't celebrate with my people because I wasn't born black? Oh? Yes, Paige, you're white. Painfully white. And this whole cultural appropriation stuff has got to stop. You have privilege in literally every other part of the world. We deserve a time and a space for us. And I get it, you want to join in and infiltrate because you empathize, but have some boundaries. And you know what, maybe I'm the bad friend for not setting them with you before. You're being serious right now. Yes, I'm sorry, but it's true. You know, you really suck as a best friend. I would never do this to you. I'm going home. Hey girl, you alright? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's one way to get rid of her. I mean, I didn't mean to be that blunt, but I kind of just exploded on her. Well, I guess you were right. About? We don't have to kill her. All we have to do is just push her away. Okay, well, I still feel bad and not relieved. Well, because you are actually a real, you know, good person. You're better than me. You're a real human with emotions. And you're not a real human. I mean, I am, but you know, I don't have sympathy for white people. That's why she was your best friend. And I was mean to this girl and she thought I was joking. She was doing way too much. Tell me about it. That's crazy. So you know what though? If she's good, she'll bounce back. If she's not, she, she's going to steal your clothes, your man, and then your life. Wait, what? Yeah, that's, she's definitely going to kill you. Like, that's what happened in all the movies where the white people are obsessed. Yeah. Kara, you cannot say things like that so casually. Plus, do you really think Paige is like that? No. Not at all. I mean, she's way too nice for that, right? She bought you $300 weave. She has a shrine of you in her living room. A large one. Oh, is that yours? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, Justin just texted me. Oh, snap, what did he say? Um, he said that he overheard the argument between Paige and I and he feels really bad. Mm -hmm. And he heard that I liked him and he likes me too. Yeah. And he wants to meet up. Girl, yes! Girl, go get your man. It's time to turn a page in a new chapter. What you waiting for? Okay. Alright, alright, and I'll call you later with all the tea. I'll be waiting. Okay. Justin? Justin? Are you here? Justin? You ready for me, Justin, baby? I have a surprise on the way. <laughs>